morning everybody welcome back I finally uh, have had the chance to come up with a little um, project for us to do today as a create with me um, these are just little um, window postcards and I've done them a couple different ways this one I've actually added some of the acetate to so you you've got that and then the other ones here I left without adding the acetate because I know some people do not like that plastic look in their uh, journals so let's just get started and I can just um, as we go along I can show you at what point you would need to glue that down so here's the supplies I, I think this is everything that you're going to need you're going to need some ink um, a postcard stamp book pages glue and cardstock now if you don't have the postcard stamp, I know Artie Mays and probably other um, digital designers on Etsy offer the printouts for postcards. And so you could totally do that with, you know, if you don't have the stamp. So um, let's just jump in and get started. It's a really quick um, little project but I love how they came out. I think these are really cute as journaling cards because on the back you've got all that writing space along with here as well. So let's just get started. Um, the first thing I like to do if you're stamping now again if you're printing out the digital you're just going to have to um, skip this part. I like to go ahead and get my um, postcard stamp down and I've recently inked, re-inked the stamp, and I've found that I'm, I have to set the ink because it's, it's just um, coming on really heavy. And last night when I did these, I had some smudging, so um, you'll have to bear with me as I hit this with some heat. So I know this is an A4 sheet. I can get four of these images. <coughs> On here. Oh yes, of course, you are going to need a shape to cut, to cut that window out. I forgot about that. You will need to do that. Now, if you don't have a big shot, you would just have to do this with an X-Acto knife. guys at this point I'm going to shut the camera off so I can just dry okay guys I have dried that so there's no worry of that smudging so the next thing is just cutting those and getting them to the size that you want them to be So, if you've got this stamp, I've chosen to do these at five and a half by three and a half. <clears throat> if that's not going to work for your journal, then you'll just have to tweak that slightly. Uh, but the reason I want to note that is because um, you're going to have to cut a back to this. So five and a half by three and a half, and I can see this. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and get those backs cut real quick. Done. And now a 
big shot. Because the next thing you're going to want to do is decide on a shape to cut your little window out. And I just try to leave at least a quarter of an inch because if it gets any narrower than that, um, it you know I just think it looks better. So that's probably about three eighths of an inch there. And if you want, you can save that cutout and use it in something else. those others to the side there. So now you've got your front and the back and then you just want to decide now what you want your image inside to be and there's a lot of options. Um, I recently got my hands on some of this, um, I don't know if this is a washi tape, but it's actually a sticker. Um, well, I think it is, I don't know actually, but it's, the design is just beautiful. But yeah, I don't know what they um, call it, but you can, um, you could use that. In between, that looks really, really pretty. Or I'm trying to use up these little um, book pages. The images are just so pretty. But what I found with these, <clears throat> let me just go ahead and cut one. And obviously, this is just a a problem that I've got. Is because my um, The, um, the die cut is wider than that image. I just took some other book page and backed so that you could see a little bit of writing on each side. I just I just think I've kind of finished it off. You don't have to go to that step, but <clears throat> I, I wanted it to be on both sides, whereas if I had just left it on the page, it would have just had the writing on the one, and I, I don't know, it just bugged me. <laughs> So you can see <clears throat> that that's not wide enough. Now, if that doesn't bother you, don't worry. And obviously, you're going to be dealing with different pages anyway. So let me just get this is just some some writing here. Okay, so now I'm just, uh, like I said, that you're probably not going to have to do this step, but this is just how my images ended up working. Because I actually kind of like the um, the acetate, I'm going to go ahead and add it to this one. Now, if you don't like it, you don't have to add that. I just I just like the look of it. So <clears throat> at this point, I'm going to go ahead and get that put down. So just go along whatever your the shape you've cut, try to get the glue as close to that as you can. 
because if you don't, it's it's going to move a bit. And then now I'm just going to add the image and then we'll come back and distress it. Now you could um, embellish these. I just want to get that center as much as I can. And if it hangs over, you can then go back and uh, trim around. So now let's get that on the back. Okay guys, now I want to go ahead and run this through my sewing machine. I did not do that with those ones. I haven't had a chance yet, but let me run this through the machine and then we will come back and finish this little project. Up.